I am Peter Dodler, Managing Director and Owner of Dolly Plastics and Corota BV. Both companies work in plastic recycling. Dolly Plastics is mostly involved in the collection, logistics and processing of waste film. That is, pre-sorting and getting it ready for the plastics recovery industry. We collect about 60,000 metric tons of waste film per year, including agricultural film. So, first, the agricultural film is collected with a mobile crane or with open skids that we install on farms. Then the material is transported to Dolly Plastics in Zetfin. There the material is weighed and unloaded. At that time, it is already visually pre-sorted using a crane with sorting claw. We chose lender shredders for agricultural films because with them, non-shreddables are no big deal. Iron parts are easily sorted out and we have no huge losses. With the safety clutch located inside the lender shredder, we have the advantage that it simply stops when there is non-shreddables inside. We open the maintenance door and it's very easy since the material that's still present in the shredding chamber is pushed forward. You just roll back the cutting system slightly and take out the foreign object. Close the maintenance door and you can continue as usual. The facility is designed with a conveyor belt feeder. The material is pre-sorted with an electric mini digger and put on the conveyor belt, which is controlled automatically by the Linder Jupiter 2200. It then shreds the material to an A4 size. It's important that the material is a certain size. We can't have too many fines because they would be sorted out further down the line. The material from the Jupiter shredder then passes over a conveyor belt under the overbelt magnets. It is then transported up to the sorting systems, which are located approximately eight and a half meters overhead. The ballistic separator separates the 2D from the 3D material. Material that rolls or jumps moves to the back, and the material that lays flat on the conveyor belt is moved to the front and then passes under the NIR sorters. The material that now behaves as 2D material is evenly distributed over the conveyor belts and passes under the NIR sensors at 3 meters per second. The NIR sensors then scan the material at two lanes at a time. Everything that is not LDPE or LLPE is shot out and is later transported to a conveyor belt to a storage area. The other material that was conveyed by the sorting system is then transported to the designated storage area. The bales are then taken out of the storage area and transported to the micromat. We have four micromat shredders in the facility. They easily shred 1.5 to 2 metric tons per hour. The material expelled by the shredder has a particle size of 50 millimeters and is transported by a tube to a buffer silo and then to an extruder where we plasticate and homogenize the material and take it to a laser filter. At the extruder's front end, the material is filtered again, this time to 90 microns using a belt filter so that we can guarantee that the material is clean and can be turned back into film. This is our specialty, that we can say, thanks to the homogeneity, the stability, and a lot of mixed-in stretch film, which gives the material a certain elasticity, that we have very strong film with the same performance as virgin material. The only difference is the way it looks.